Commodities. The lifeblood of the Merchant Alliance. Basic goods that need to be transported around the Sea of Thieves for the continued prosperity of the outposts around the game. Raw sugars, unfiltered minerals, spices, teas, all goods that can be purchased from the traders after raising the Merchant Alliance emissary flag. The way the commodity system works in Sea of Thieves is that each outpost has one type of goods that it has an excess of and one type of goods that it requires and will pay a premium to any pirate willing to deliver them. Meaning that I could peacefully sail the seas while making progress towards the pirate legend status I had set my sights on. Interested in this activity for the Merchant Alliance, I set sail as an open crewed sloop, loading in on the ancient spy outpost with the teammate loading in shortly after me. So there's this little book next to each of the merchant traders that will tell you what each outpost has in surplus and what they need. Ancient Spire had an excess of unrefined spices and Morrow's Peak required it. This is one of the shortest distances between outposts. So once we raised the emissary flag and poured out the commodity stock. Lovely, thank you. Set sail to Morrow's Peak. East. Now this was right after an update and one of the bugs in the game at the time was that the crew voice chat wasn't working. So I had to type out my plan to my crewmate and he seemed to be on board with it. Happy days. We sold the spice at Morrow's Peak for a tiny profit we bought the crates for 120 each and they were selling for well over 700. Yeah, you're good. But something I didn't um, take into account was the emissary flag's right. bonus. If we got this flag to grade 5, then right, selling sorry. these crates could get extremely lucrative. We bought out the stock of unclassified gemstones from Morrow's Peak and set a course to the Dangus Tooth outpost that required them. On our way to the outpost, we attracted the attention of an unfriendly vessel. But we were committed to selling our cargo, so we dropped it off at the dock and I set sail to give them a target while my partner sneakily sold the goods. Oh no, Cummins. Committed to the merchant's lifestyle, and I hadn't actually gotten any oh, food or supplies, so I died rather quickly. We sold our loot and reset on the other side of the map. Didn't have. Um... At Sanctuary Outpost, we raised the emissary flag once again, bought out the stock of unfiltered minerals. Hopefully he buys them. <clears throat> we spotted a skeleton sloop off in the distance and we quickly sunk it, rewarding us with a cheeky grade 3 emissary, immediately meaning our goods were going to sell for a lot more when we got to our destination. And that they did. Arriving at the plunder outpost, we received a tidy profit from the flag. Looking back on it now, it's pretty obvious that these minerals were not meant to be delivered here. We missed out on the outpost bonus, which was a shame, but buying out the silks from plunder, we set course for the Galleon's Grave trek after receiving level 25 in the merchant faction. We continue the commodity gameplay loop of buying and selling cargo, achieving a grade 4 flag when I was hit with my first ever in-game server merger. Okay, 
server merger. Oh, no. no way. Which promptly rewarded us with a Grade 5 Reaper placed squarely in the centre of the map, only a few tiles west of our location. <laughs> oh man. In our attempts to avoid them, we sailed directly into the battle for the Sea of Thieves. Now this world event was not there when we arrived at Galleon's Grave, but thanks to the server merger, it had appeared and it took us by surprise and they oh, sunk no. us rather, rather quickly actually. Battle for the Sea of Thieves. Definitely don't want to be here. Alright, what, what is going on here? We suck! No, dude! We had two galleons on us! Now, if you were interested in doing commodities yourself, then there are a couple of useful pieces of information that you should be aware of. First off, buy everything from the Merchant Traders. Not only the excess stock, but all the crates you can. Because you're going to be raising and leveling an emissary flag, these extra crates are going to help the leveling process and give you a profit because of the emissary bonus value. The other thing you should know about is the Merfolk's Lullaby. Now this is an external website that shows the current commodity routes in the game. They do change up every week, so being aware of the best courses across the seas is very beneficial. But back to our adventure, we respawned and went back for our loot. Another mistake, but we got some good hits in on these skeleton ships before we sunk once they again. Sank. Not important for now, but relevant for later. The hell? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Sinking once again, I purchased the Merchant Officer, unlocked level 25 Voyages, discovering a new type of voyage that's available to me now. We voted on it, and with our original loot out of reach, we focused on the voyage instead. In an ironic twist of fate, the path that, that this island. voyage had set us on sent us straight back towards the Battle for the Sea of Thieves. Because, of, of course it did. Yeah, yeah, that's where we came from. We tried to skirt the edges of the encounter, intent with just grabbing our voyage item, but it appeared as though the enemy ships neglected repairs from the damage we had done to them earlier, and the new ships what? that spawned ran straight into rocks, allowing us to clean up the battle for a heap of loot, even finding oh, out original cargo Jeff. and emissary flag as well. Now with our newfound loot, we were focused on completing our current voyage and following the yeah, clues led us to cool. a sunken ship which contained a manifest ah, ending a that. quest. It's the one. Clara's call. Shark me there. Exotic silks. Voyage, probably. We were content with our efforts for the day and headed back to an outpost to sell our hard-fought treasures, only to be met with the Kraken taking hold of our humble sloop. It's Kraken. No. Fucking way, dude. Alright, we're good. 
After all of these encounters with pirates, skeletons, and sea monsters, we finally made it to an outpost only to be met with more enemy pirates. We made quick work of their ship and sent them back to Davy Jones' locker with the help of my Eye of Breach, stealing all of their plunder to boot. At the end of the day, we made it away with a cool 100,000 gold, 150 doubloons, and an epic tale to tell. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you want to see more Sea of Thieves content or adventure-style videos, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.